I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Cards with frogs on them. <laughs> Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Then it popped out! I'm rich! Starbucks, Footlock, everything, baby. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. It's not roasting. Black frost nipping. Right, so check it out more. Man, we're literally like a minute away from 2023 and what I call goat season. Goat season? Y'all don't know what goats. I'm gonna have to explain what goat season is to y'all. Let's count it down first though. Is it about to have a new year? How about you? Yeah. It's goat season. 2022, wild ass year. Mm. I'd like to welcome y'all to Goat Season Board. 2023 is about to be the year. Yeah, 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 I heard, yeah, yeah, um, happy new year, all that, um, it's goat season, goat season. Let's get right into it, alright, look, never in my life have I been sick in the holidays, never, ever, 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 and if you know me, your boy loves the holidays, I love to celebrate, um, but when I'm telling you I was sick, I was sick like, like John Morant in the fourth quarter sick. I was sick like me in a in a dance battle. Battle just sick. <laughs> couldn't move, couldn't talk, couldn't think. Cause y'all family, and I love you guys. So, what this week is gonna be is a recap of everything that I didn't get to share when everybody else was sharing Christmas stuff. Because I love Christmas. You don't think I love Christmas? But people think people think my gangsters are strong. I love Christmas, man. Roll this montage. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. The leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. The leaves are so I didn't get to share anything, and I'm gonna share that with you now. Um, so first tradition, my students like to give me cards, they stack me up, balling. I always give them the honor and the privilege of me opening their gifts to me in front of them for the first time ever in 116 years of life. I will share that with you today. It was the night before Jensen. <laughs> All through the dance studio. Children had brought me cards with frogs on them. Okay, so let's read about these frogs. <clears throat> Clearly it says. All right, guys, I got a gift card to Starbucks. Starbucks says, Mr. Sam, you are glorious. You rise from the ashes like a phoenix. No, it doesn't! The strength, the power, the grace, the poise leads me to be a better human being and, of course, inspires me to strive every day I don't think for greatness that's not what it's and excellence. Thank you, Riley. Uh, you know, 
I appreciate you. are so well written. That's the picture. Yeah. It does say that. It says that right there. It doesn't say that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Show it. It doesn't say that. Look in the comments and see if it says what I just. Hadouken! All right, here we go. Now. Second one. Hold on, hold on. Kalia, hold it for a second, all right? Let it ride. Let it ride. Keep it steady for the people. This one is from a man named Jensen, all right? Jensen. He's got a beard. All right, here we go. Now it says, Merry and Bright tonight in sight. Don't be a feared, a.k.a. fright. Oh, I'm a rapper. All right, here we go. Oh, my, listen, guys. It says... You are broke, sir. So I'm gonna. No, it you. doesn't. Shh, back up. Let me read it. Sir, you are broke. I know you need money. No, it doesn't. I can tell by your outfits every day that you struggle. Thank you, Jen <laughs> Jensen. I appreciate. Get get the get the handshake between me and Dan Jensen. The handshake. All right, guys. He gave me fifty-five thousand dollars. I appreciate it, guys. Fifty-five G's. Yeah. That boy got money. Fifty-five thousand. Jensen got a job. All right, here we go. Hold it. Steady. Mm-hmm. This is clearly from Gemma. All right, I can feel it because it's got like it's got it's like glowing. So I knew it was majestic once I opened it. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. She gave me a gift card to Foot Locker. I. <laughs> She said, boy, your shoes are struggling. Oh, just get a picture of the shoes. Oh my she, god. She said, boy, you're struggling. You need some new shoes from Foot Locker. So we're gonna put this. There's a new brand called the Bird Brand that's out, okay? So yeah, we're gonna purchase that. Yeah, she that's how she writes, guys. That's how she talks. She said, yeah, boy, you're gonna get the bird brand. Alright? What? No, I can't. I can't. It's Will, my my hand. I heard it earlier. All right, guys. Well, look at the pictures of these two beautiful human beings. Okay, they obviously shop at Foot Locker, Starbucks. Fifty-five thousand. I got everything, baby. I'm rich. Got one. What I forgot one? Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. I can hold it. I can hold it. Hold on a second. Jordan, hold it. She wasn't screaming and yelling. Oh yeah, I feel it. Okay, Let's, don't you block this majesty. There's no card. You know why there's no card? Because she's like, listen, I'm a gangster, baby. You just take whatever I give you. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Guys, she bought me a pet. It is a gift card for a dog. Guys, I've got. I'm gonna buy a it's dog. Yes. That's a no, it's not. I got a dog. It's a new dog. Look, and she got me a collar for the dog. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we need to be knowing, all right? These pets you can't forget. It's Tarzan! Right? A pet, $55,000 to take care of it. I can put Foot Locker shoes on it. It's from where? Target. Target? It's a dog. Target! <laughs> and there's all these kids right here. They gave the richness. So wait, you get a hug. Here's a Christmas hug. Here. And get a hug. Hug, hug, Christmas hug. All right, now get to class. Thank you so much for my gifts. Oh, let me see these guys. All right, stay. Okay, so unless you live on another planet, GOAT stands for greatest of all time. The GOAT. Oh. The reason I'm calling this one GOAT season is because 23 is the number of people like Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Uh, Capricorn symbol is a GOAT. And uh, I happen to be a Capricorn, so it's my 116th birthday this year. Goated. The main reason it's GOAT season is sometimes you get a point in your life where there's a culmination of everything that you worked for coming to an intersection. And this is that year. After pandemic, I wasn't sure, like, was there going to be anything else? Were we going to be dancing again? Were we going to be alive? Like, there are all these reasons that we could have failed, and we didn't, and you didn't, and she didn't, and your mom didn't, and your brother didn't, and your friends didn't, and we're all here now. So I, like anybody else, have a tendency to wait for perfection. I got to wait till things are perfect. I'm not doing that anymore. I feel like it's gonna sound ironic to people who know me because people think that I'm a workaholic, but I don't think I've worked as hard as I could possibly work. And I can be honest about that. I feel like I've always been able to get by on my ability and my talent and my natural work ethic, which just is naturally harder than others. But it made me think, what if I got goaded? What if I went as hard as I could possibly go? 
every given moment. And this could be a bad thing. I want to be clear. This could be a terrible thing because I, I preach, you know, mental health so much and taking time for yourself and relaxing. And, you know, you need moments uh, that can let you breathe. But I don't know. I feel like there's somewhere I need to get to immediately. And I don't know how to get to that destination unless I push. Once I get there, I'm going to relax. I'm telling you. But not for this season, not right now. And I don't mean just pushing with dance. Like if I'm gonna have a party, I'm gonna push and make that party lit. Or like if I'm gonna promise myself three days off, then that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a goaded three days off. I'm not gonna get caught up in doing projects for other people because I feel obligated to uh, live up to somebody's expectation. This is goat season for me. And I want it to be goat season for you guys. I want you guys to push for your dreams. I think the greatest things that you will ever do in your life are right on the other side of fear. So uh, that's what I mean when I say goat season. I'm gonna hold myself accountable and you can hold me accountable and it's gonna be three layer things. It's gonna be my business, financial goat season, um, just my life acumen, making sure that I'm like together with my life the way I wanna be. And then physically, physically, this has been the roughest year and a half of my life from the injuries to the toe, to the leg, to the knee, to everything, to even being sick on Christmas. like. This year is not going to be that warrior, like straight terminated. So that's what goat season is. I just thought I'd put that out there and um, stay goaded. Oh, what does the goat say? <laughs>